Magandang buhay po at welcome po muli dito sa aking channel. Ngayon naman po ang aking pong ipapaliwanag ay how to find n or the number of terms sa atin pong geometric sequence gamit po yung formula ng geometric sequence. So, paano nga po ba kunin yung number of terms or n in a geometric sequence? So, yan po yung papaliwanag ko sa video na ito step by step. Pero bago po tayo magpatuloy, bago po magbigay ng example, click lamang po ang like. And then, kung bago ka po sa aking channel, click po ang subscribe. And then, notification bell upang sa ganun ay ma-update ka sa iba pang video tutorial na aking i-upload sa mga susunod. Okay, so how to find n in a geometric sequence? Using this formula, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 r raised to n minus 1. Okay, so para makuha po yung n, dapat po given po yung a sub n o yung last term ng geometric sequence. Given din po yung a sub 1 o yung first term ng geometric sequence. At given din po yung r or common ratio. Para po makuha po yung number of terms sa geometric sequence. Kagaya po ng example na ito. Find the number of terms in the geometric sequence 6, 12, 24, and so on until 1,536. So, ang tinatanong po niya dito ay number of terms or yung n. So, paano nga ba? Okay, so ganito lang po iyon. So, given po yung ating formula, kunin po natin yung kanilang given. Okay, so ito po yung ating uh, geometric sequence, 6, 12, 24 until 1,536. So, sa formula po, kailangan po natin yung a sub n o yan po yung last term. Kailangan din po natin yung a sub 1, yung first term, yung r common ratio. At yung n, yan po yung hahanapin natin or unknown. Okay, so sa a sub n po, ito po yung last term given po. Yan po, 1,536. So, lagay po natin. Then next, yung a sub 1, first term. Okay, yung first term sa geometric sequence ay 6. So, a sub 1 is 6. And then, yung r ay common ratio. So, para makuha po yung common ratio, i-divide po natin yung 2 consecutive terms. So, yun na lang pong pinakamaliit from right to left. So, 12 divided by 6 is... Okay, what is 12 divided by 6? That is equal to 2. So, yung common ratio natin, o r is equal to 2. Okay. So, using the given, substitute po natin sa ating formula. So, a sub n is equal to a sub 1, r raised to n minus 1. So, yung a sub n natin, last term, ito po, 1536 is equal to, a sub 1 natin ay yan, 6, a1 is 6. Since a sub 1 r, ibig sabihin that is times. So, 6 times, ang common ratio natin or r is 2. Yan, nasolve po natin. So, 2 raised to n minus 1. If you notice, Sa atin pong formula, expression or equation, n na lang po ang variable doon. So, pag simplify po natin yan, makukuha po natin yung value ng n or number of terms. Okay. So, ano po yung una nating sisimplify dyan? So, ito po. Hindi po natin yan pwedeng i-multiply. Ano po? Pero, pwede po natin yan i-divide by 6 sa both side of the equation. Bakit po ba 6? Kasi may 6 po doon sa right side para ma-divide po natin yan. Ano po? So, this will become, ang matitira na lang po sa right side ay 2 raised to n minus 1. Okay? At sa left side naman, 1,536 divided by 6, that is equal to 256. Okay? So, itaas po natin. So, mula po dyan sa 256 is equal to 2 raised to n minus 1. So, ano po yung gagawin natin para makuha po natin yung n? So, if you notice, sa atin pong left side or right side rather, 2 po yung ating base. Yung 256 po ay gawin po nating exponential expression na ang kanyang base po ay 2. Ano po? So, ibig sabihin, ano po yung gagawin natin dyan? Trial and error po tayo. Magmumultiply po tayo ng 2 hanggang makaabot po tayo ng 256. So, unayin po natin dalawang 2. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Okay? Then, tatlong 2. 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8. And then, apat na 2, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 16. Then, limang 2, if you multiply, that is equal to 32. Then, anim na 2, if you're going to multiply, that is equal to 64. So, wala pa rin po. Tuloy po natin. So, 7 na 2, if you multiply, that is equal to 128. So, wala pa rin po. 
So, nagdagan po natin ng isang 2. If you're going to multiply, that is equal to 256. So, ilang 2 po yan? Multiply po natin. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 8 na 2 po yung ating multiply para maging 256. So, ibig sabihin, yung 8 na 2 na yan, yan na po yung represent natin, 2 raised to 8. Yan. So, yung 256 naging 2 raised to 8 is equal to 2 raised to n minus 1. Okay. So, yan na po yung equation natin. Bakit ko po ginanon yun? If you notice, parehos na po sila ng base. 2 is 2 and 2. So, i-equal na lang po natin yung kanilang exponent. Yun po yung rule. So, magiging, yan, magiging 8 is equal to n minus 1. Tatanggal na, mo, tatanggal na po natin yung 2 na kanilang base. Ano po? So, 8 is equal to n minus 1. So, simplify. Madali na lang po yan. To get n or to solve n, transpose po natin yung negative 1 sa left side. Sama natin sa 8. So, magiging 8 plus 1 kasi minus 1 doon is equal to n. So, 8 plus 1 is equal to 9. Yan na po yung number of terms natin. So, n is equal to 9. Okay. So, i-check po natin. Kung tama po yung sagot natin. Okay. So, n is equal to 9. Okay. Or the number of terms is 9. So, using the formula, substitute po natin yung mga given. So, a sub n natin is 1, 5, 3, 6 is equal to, ang first term ay 6. Ang common ratio times, common ratio natin ay 2. So, yung n po natin ay 9. So, raised to 9 minus 1. So, dapat equal po yung ating equation. So, 1, 5, 3, 6 is equal to, Ang unang simplify po ay yung 9 minus 1. So, 2 raised to 9 minus 1 is 8. So, 2 raised to 8. And then, ang simplify po natin ay yung 2 raised to 8. 2, 2 raised to 8 is equal to 256. So, this will become 6 times 256 is equal to 1536. So, equal po yung ating equation. 1536 is equal to 1536. So, ibig sabihin, ito po ay true. So, tama po yung sagot natin na yung number of terms is equal to 9. Okay, so salamat po sa inyong panonood. Nawa po ay natulungan ko kayo sa inyong aralin. Kung meron po kayong katanungan tungkol sa lesson na ito, comment lang po ninyo sa comment box at hintayin po ninyo yung aking reply. Bisyo lang po na kayo po ay mag-like at mag-subscribe upang sa gawin, pag ako po ay nag-reply, ay manotify po kayo sa aking reply.